Hello everybody, my name is Shiv Mehra and in today's screencast we are going to configure an AP7131N to stream YouTube style videos to multiple wireless clients. So let's get started. Our setup consists of a VLC media server which is a software installed on a wired PC. This wired PC connects to a wired swi gigabit switch. The AP connects to the same switch as well. Multiple wireless clients associate to the AP and can stream video from this VLC server. The main hardware components in our setup are the AP7131N, a wired gigabit switch, a wired laptop on which the VLC media server is installed, and multiple wireless clients. In our setup, we've used the Intel 5300 chipset. However, you can choose to use any A2211N client as long as it can support 300 megabit data rates upstream as well as downstream. The main software components we've used is the VLC media player. This player can be configured to act as a server or as a client. Let's log into the AP and start configuring it. When the AP is uh, in the factory default state, uh, the GE1 port is configured to be a DHCP client and hence it would get an IP address uh, from a DHCP server running on your network. Uh, to log into the AP, the default username is admin and the password is Motorola. So we would log in with those credentials. Now as soon as you log in with the default credentials, you will be asked to change the password. So let's go ahead and change that password and click apply. So this would be the first screen that shows up. As you can see, everything over here is grayed out. Uh, to ensure that you can navigate and configure the AP, you need to set the country code. So let's go ahead and set the country code. In our case, we will choose United States and click apply. As you can see, uh, this whole portion over here now is, uh, is available to us. To create a wireless LAN, we essentially have to give it an SSID. If we would like to secure the wireless LAN with some security or encryption, we could do so by creating a policy. And lastly, we need to map the wireless LAN to the radios. To create a wireless LAN, we will navigate to network configuration. We will click on wireless. And as you can see, there is a, a default wireless LAN already created. We're just going to edit that. I'm going to call it video streaming. Uh, this wireless LAN would basically beacon on the 11AN radio as well as on the 11BGN radio. If you would like to secure this wireless LAN, we can hit create and we can choose uh, what, what security we want to enable. So in this case, we can just choose WPA2 PSK, give it a passphrase and we can hit apply. Once we hit apply, that security policy will automatically be created. Uh, for the sake of this demo, we're just going to use open security, so I'm just going to disable that. So we're basically given an SSID to our wireless LAN, and we're just going to hit apply. To configure QoS for multicast streaming, we first need to acquire the MAC address of our multicast stream. To do so, you can either sniff the packets on the wired or the wireless. In our example, our MAC address is 01005E1D23AB. In order to derive the multicast mask, all we have to do is replace the last four quads with zeros. So our multicast mask for this example would be 01005E1D0000. As seen, we have just replaced the last four quads of the multicast address by zeros. Next thing we want to do is uh, if we intend to use uh, multicast video streaming, we just want to make sure that we can set the uh, right QoS parameters. So we would navigate to wireless and then choose QoS. This is the default policy name which is already mapped to our wireless LAN. So we can just hit edit. Uh, for multicast traffic, we need to ensure that we have a multicast mask. Uh, the multicast mask is nothing but uh, the mass, the, the, the MAC address of the stream in uh, our example that we used, it is going to be 01005E1 Delta. So what that means is any, any multicast uh, address which starts with these four quads, uh, these two being irrespective, would automatically get prioritized and hit the air uh, 
with the right data rates. So let's just click apply and I'm just going to click OK. So we've created a wireless LAN, we've set the right QoS policy for our uh, wireless LAN as well. To configure the radios, the first parameter we need to set is a short preamble if it's a 2.4 GHz radio. This particular parameter is not available in 5 GB. We have to ensure that DTEM period is set to 1, aggregation is enabled, and the channel width is set. There are two options for the channel width. One is 20 MHz and the other is 2040 MHz. For our demo, we are going to be using 2040 MHz. The channel and power have to be set to the optimum value. And finally, we have to set the rates. Now to configure our radios, we will navigate to radio configuration and choose our radio. If you want to configure the BGN radio, we would ensure that short preamble is enabled. We will also ensure that the DTM interval is set to 1. Just to make sure that the aggregation is set, we will just navigate to the aggregation menu. Uh, by default, we have the AMPDU transmit enabled. So we can just go ahead and uh, the next thing we want to set is our rates. I can choose the GN rates here. Uh, if I want to use 2040, I can choose 2040. User selected would give me channel 1 and 5. For a lap test, I would generally reduce the power to a minimum, say about 10 dB. Uh, obviously, if the AP is in the ceiling and you are running a test uh, with the clients further away from the AP, you may want to boost the signal up. We'll just click Apply. Uh, our radio is basically set. Uh, the next thing we want to set is the rates. Right now, as you can see, the default rate set is set to the B rates as well as the G rates. Let's just disable the B rates for now. We'll enable short guard. We'll enable all our 11N uh, MCS rates. Enabling these rates just means that the AP will function uh, with the 11N rates. Also, let's uh, enable our 11G rates. And let's click OK. Apply. So our 11 BG radio has now been configured uh, for for supporting uh, 300 megabit data rates. Uh, if a client supports that data rate, we would easily be able to uh, send packets and receive packets at the highest data rate. Now let's configure our 11 AN radio. To do so, navigate to the radio configuration and then the 11 AN. Similarly, as we did with the uh, 2.4 gig radio, we can just make sure that aggregation is enabled, which it is. Let's set the DTM interval to 1. Let's choose uh, our channels. 36 and 40 is good. We can choose 10. We can hit Apply. As you can see here, for the rate settings, uh, the rates for the 11A basic are already set. Uh, the 11N rates are also set. We just want to enable short guard interval just to ensure that we can support the maximum data rate of 300 megabits per second. And let's click OK apply. So both our radios have been configured uh, for optimal performance and we should now be able to associate uh, 50 or more laptops per radio and do a video streaming test. Our AP is now configured. We can associate multiple wireless clients to the AP either on one radio or on both radios. We need to ensure that the VLC media server is uh, configured to run YouTube style videos. And finally, we need all our wireless clients to associate to the AP and stream video from the VLC media server. Thank you.